they are students will come this is our sixth class on differential equations ordinary differential equations today i shall try to solve these four problems <coughs> today's problem number one problem number 15 16 17 and 18 <coughs> question number 15 the given differential equation is 1 plus xy cos of xy dx plus x square cos xy dy equal to 0 dy equal to 0 or this differential equation you see the equation number 15 equation can be written as dy by dx equal to you will get a minus sign <coughs> 1 plus xy cos of xy divided by x square cos of xy you may write uh, like this you may write like this suppose uh, this differential equation is 1 here you see <coughs> it is xy is there and cos of xy is also there therefore you put xy equal to 0, xy equal to p, put xy is equal to m, not variable p. This means differentiate this with respect to x. If you differentiate, differentiate this with respect to x, you will get this. Now, first function x into differentiation of the second function dy by dx plus y dx by dx differentiation of x with respect to x it will be 1 this is equal to dv by dx or you may write x dy by dx equal to dv by dx minus y dv by dx minus y you may write like this or dy by dx equal to 1 by x dv by dx minus y by x you may write like this now if you substitute x y equal to v and dy by dx equal to this in 1 you will get now from 1 you will get 1 in place 1 in place this means uh, from 1 we will get dy by dx means 1 by x dv by dx minus y by x should be equal to minus 1 plus xy means v v cos v divided by x square cos v x square cos v now you notice in the denominator in the left hand side in the denominator it is there is a x also x it is x square you may cancel x from both sides then cancelling x from both sides you will get dv by dx minus y equal to minus 1 plus v cos v divided by x cos v divided by x cos v or dv by dx should be equal to y plus y minus dv by dx equal to y minus 1 plus v cos v divided by x cos v x cos v or x y equal to p <coughs> You may write uh, it as v by x minus 1 plus v cos v divided by x cos v. You may write like this. Or this is equal to x cos v. It will be v cos v. v cos v minus 1 minus v cos v. The v cos p, v cos b will be cancelled. And you may write 
it has minus 1 by p cos p minus 1 by p cos p and in the Lagrange it was dv by dx dv by dx equal to dx now separate the variables no, x is not it is x cos p it is x cos p minus 1 by x cos p separate the variables this means cos v dv cos v dv this is equal to dx by minus dx by x or in the right plus dx by x equal to 0 dx by x equal to 0 integrating we get <coughs> integrating we get integrating we get If you integrate it, then you will get integration cos v dv plus integration dx by x equal to log of c. Log c is the constant of integration. Or it is sin v plus log x equal to log of c. Or you may write sin xy v equal to xy equal to log of c by x log of c by x or you may write c by x equal to e to the power sine of x y or x e to the power sine x y equal to c this is the reward solution of the differential equation this is the reward solution of the differential equation x e to the power sine x y equal to c Perhaps you have understood this one. <coughs> now, to the second problem. <coughs> X, uh, question number 16. I am going to solve the question number 16. Question number 16. Perhaps you have noted. Mm -hmm. Question number 16. X dy minus y dx equal to root of r x square plus y square dx. This is the question number 16. This can be written as x dy equal to y plus root of r x square plus y square dx y square dx on the right side this <coughs> or dy by dx should be equal to y by x plus root of r x square plus y square divided by x z y by dx will do this you see or d y by dx equal to y by x plus root of r 1 plus y by x whole square you may write in this way like this root of r x square by x square plus y square divided by x square you go to this it is of the form f of y by x dy by dx is a function of y by x therefore it is homogeneous since it is homogeneous you should put y equal to vx suppose this is equation different equation number one put y equal to vx so that dy by dx equal to v plus x dv by dx v plus x dv by dx therefore one in this from one you will get v plus x dv by dx equal to y by x means it is v plus root of one one plus v square root of one plus v square 
dv will be cancelled and you will get x dv by dx equal to root over 1 plus b square you will get this separate the variables if you separate the variables then you will get dx by x dv by root over 1 plus b square equal to dx by x thus the variables have been separated integrating we get integrating we get Integrating we get integration dv by root of r 1 plus b square equal to integration dx by x plus log c. Log c is the constant of integration. Where log c is the constant of integration. What is the integration of this? The integration of 1 by root of r 1 plus b square is log of v plus root of r 1 plus b square equal to log x plus log c log x plus log or you may write <coughs> this means log of p plus root of r 1 plus p square equal to log of cx log of cx or log log just cancel log log you may write p plus root over 1 plus p square equal to cx for v you may write y by x write y by x plus root over 1 plus y square by x square equal to cx or multiply both sides by x y plus root over x square plus y square equal to cx square which is the required solution we have got the relation x and y with a and with an arbitrary constant c this is the solution which is the solution of the given differential equation which is the solution which is the required solution of the given differential equation this is the required therefore we have solved question number 15 and also question number 16. now let us try to solve the question number 17 dy by dx equal to x square plus y square divided by this now question number 70 i am going to solve the question number 70 question number 70 dy by dx equal to x square plus y square divided by x square plus xy x square plus now if you divide this uh, equation uh, uh, divide the numerator and the numerator of this by x square you will get 1 plus y square by x square divided by 1 plus y by x it is a function of y by x it is homogeneous clearly it is homogeneous one is homogeneous Therefore, put 1 is homogeneous, put y is equal to vx, so that dy by dx equal to dy by dx equal to v plus x dv by dx, v plus x dv by dx. Now, substitute this in equation number 1. Let me remove this one. Now, it is a homogeneous differential equation. Since it is homogeneous differential equations, thus put y is equal to vx. So that dy by dx equal to <coughs> v plus x dv by dx. Therefore, 1 implies from 1 you will get. We have solved this two. 1. 1 from 1 you will get. For dy by dx, you put v plus x dv by dx. v plus x dv by dx this is equal to x square plus v square x square v square into x square divided by x square plus x y equal to vx y this is equal to vx this means v plus x 
dv by dx equal to 1 plus v square divided by 1 plus v 1 plus v square divided by 1 plus v or x dv by dx equal to 1 plus v square divided by 1 plus v minus v minus v or x dv by dx you may write in the denominator it will be 1 plus v and One plus v square minus v minus v square. This v square v square will be cancelled. Ultimately, you will get x dv by dx equal to one minus v divided by one plus v. Now separate the variables. If you separate the variables, you will get one plus v by one minus v. One plus v by one minus v dv equal to dx by x dx by x or you may write it as v plus 1 by v minus 1 dv plus dx by x equal to 0 you may write like this also multiply both, uh, both sides by minus 1 if you multiply it by minus 1 1 minus v may be written as p minus 1 and it is minus this you uh, take this to the left hand side from right hand side now the variables have been separated integrating we get integrate now integrate integrating we get integrating we get v plus 1 by v minus 1 dv plus integration dx by x equal to log c log c is the constant of integration log c is the constant of integration now you may write v minus 1 plus 2 divided by v minus 1 dv plus it is log, log x equal to log of c or you may write 1 plus 2 by v minus 1 dv equal to log of c by x you may write like this also now what is the integration of this v plus 2 times of log v minus 1 equal to log of c by x equal to log of c by x or P means you may write y by x or in the next step we will write y by x this is equal to log of c by x into p minus 1 whole square you may write 2 times of log of p minus 1 means log of p minus 1 whole square take this to the right hand side it will be minus log of c by x minus log v minus 1 whole square therefore v minus 1 whole square will come in the denominator of this or c divided by x into v minus 1 whole square equal to v it will be power v v minus 1 whole square e to the power v <clears throat> or you may write c equal to x v minus 1 whole square e to the power v v square e to the power v or <clears throat> we have solved this two we are told or x into y by x minus 1 whole square e to the power y by x p means y by x equal to c or you may write x it will be x square 
one minus six whole square e to the power y by x equal to c. Or we may write y minus x whole square e to the power y by x equal to cx. Or we may write y minus x whole square is equal to cx into e to the power minus y by x. This is the required solution. It is a relation between x and y. Also, it contains an arbitrary constant c, which is the required solution. Which is the required solution. Y minus x whole square e to the power y by x. This is equal to cx. Now we have solved the question number 17 also. Now question number 18 is, you see the reciprocal of this. x square plus y square divided by x square plus xy. In place of this, we have written x square plus xy divided by x square plus y square. But the solution will be different. Now, <coughs> let us come to solve the question number 18. I'm going to solve the question number 18. 18. Divide by dx equal to x square plus xy divided by x square plus y square. It is also homogeneous differential equation. Homogeneous differential equation. Therefore, you will have to put y equal to kx. Put y equal to kx. So there, dy by dx equal to p plus x dv by dx. p plus x dv by dx. dv by dx. Therefore, from one you will be p plus x dv by dx equal to x square plus x into vx divided by x square plus v square into x square. Or you may write, <clears throat> this means p plus x dv by dx should be equal to x square x square will be cancelled 1 plus p by 1 plus p square p by 1 plus p square or x dv by dx should be equal to 1 plus p by 1 plus p square minus b 1 plus p by 1 plus p square minus p or x dv by dx equal to 1 plus p square 1 plus p minus p minus p q now p v will be cancelled or you may write x dv by dx equal to 1 minus p q divided by 1 plus p square now separate the variables. Now separate the variables. 1 plus v square by 1 minus v cube dv equal to dx by x. We write like this. Now, you see, you may write it as v square plus 1 divided by v cube minus 1 dv plus dx by x equal to 0. Multiply both sides by minus 1. Now, p cube minus 1, you may write p square plus 1, p minus 1 into p square plus p plus 1 dv plus dx by x equal to 0. dx by x equal to 0. Integrating we get. Integrating we get. <laughs> Integrating we get. Integration p square plus 1, p minus 1, p 
square plus b plus 1 dv plus integration dx by x equal to log of c where log c is the constant of integration log c is the constant of integration or you may write p square plus 1 p minus 1 p square plus p plus 1 dv plus log x equal to log of c suppose this is number 2 this is number 2 now to integrate this one thus we will have to express this as partial fraction as partial fraction for that we will let the p square plus 1 divided by p minus 1 p square plus p plus 1 equal to a divided by b minus 1 it is linear a divided by b minus 1 it is quantity therefore you will have to put a b b plus c divided by p square plus p plus 1 suppose this is number 3 or you may write p square plus 1 equal to a into p square plus p plus 1 plus b b plus c into p minus 1 suppose this is number 4 this is number 4 to integrate this the left hand side of 2 uh, integration v square you will, uh, you will have to express this as partial fraction for that now if you put p equal to 1 on both sides of 4 put p equal to 1 in 4 now put p equal to 1 in 4 you will get 1 square plus 1 it will be 2 equal to a it will be 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 0 this means a equal to 2 by 3 you will get a equal to 2 by 3 we have to find three values a b and c we have obtained the value of the constant a a equal to 2 by 3 now if you put b equal to p equal to 0 in 4 put p equal to 0 in 4 put p equal to 0 in 4 let me write here because i am not for some reader that camera is covering this portion of the now put p equal to 0 in 4 you will get 0 plus 1 0 plus 1 equal to a into 0 plus 0 plus 1 if it is 0 c into minus 1 c into minus 1 1 it is a it is 0 minus 1 a minus c yes this means 1 equal to a minus c this means a means uh, 2 by 3 1 equal to 2 by 3 minus c this means c equal to 2 by 3 minus 1 this means c equal to minus 1 by 3 a equal to 2 by 3 c equal to minus 1 by 3 <clears throat> question number 8 this is <clears throat> c is equal to minus 1 by 3 now we have obtained the value of a and c values of a and c to obtain the value of b equate the coefficient of p square on of both sides of 4 equating the coefficient of p square equating the coefficient of p square 
on Facebook. Tom Botsecho Pool again. Tom Botsecho Pool. Pool again. If we think that we should be square. And uh, in the left, left side, the coefficient of b squared is 1. And it is a. Now, if you multiply this and this, you will get the uh, b squared. That will be the only term. Therefore, you will get a plus b. a plus b. a is equal to 2 by 3. This means b equal to 1 minus a. b equal to 1 minus a means 2 by 3. This means b is equal to 1 by 3. Thus, <coughs> thus a equal to 2 by 3. B, b equal to 1 by 3. c equal to minus 1 by 3. We have got a equal to 2 by 3, b equal to 1 by 3, and uh, c is equal to minus 1 by 3. Now substitute these values in equation number 3. Now substituting this in 3 we get, put in a is equal to 2 by 3, b equal to 1 by 3, c is equal to minus 1 by 3 in, in 3. In equation number 3, we get, in number 3, we get, b square plus 1 divided by b minus 1 into b square plus b plus 1, this is equal to a means 2 by 3 divided by b minus 1. b minus 1 plus b means 1 by 3b. c means minus 1 by 3. b square plus b plus 1. b square plus b plus 1. Therefore, integrate. Integration of b square plus 1 by b minus 1 into b square plus b plus 1 dv should be equal to <coughs> I will not think of this this is equal to a means to, it is 2 by 3 2 by 3 into integration from 1 by b minus 1 dv plus 1 by 3 into integration b minus 1 divided by b square plus b plus 1 dv now one thing from this you will get this is equal to 2 by 3 it is log p minus 1 2 by 3 log p minus 1 plus you may write 1 by 6 twice b minus 2 twice b minus 2 means twice b plus 1 minus 3 you may write like this also you may write like this 2 by 3 log of this 1 by 6 means twice b minus 2 4 minus 2 I have written twice b plus 1 minus 3 this is equal to 2 by 3 log p minus 1 plus 1 by 6 integral twice p plus 1 by p square plus p plus 1 dv minus 3 by 6 integral dv by p square plus p plus 1 p square plus p plus 1 this is equal to 2 by 3 log p minus 1 plus 1 by 6 if you uh, you see here if you differentiate the denominator p square plus p plus 1 with respect to p you will get twice p plus 1 
you will get which is the numerator if numerator is the differentiation of the denominator the integration is log of denominator log of denominator p square plus p plus 1 minus 1 by 2 integral it can be written as p plus half plus 1 means you have written p square plus p plus 1 by 4 you should have written 1 you have already written 1 by 4, therefore 3 by 4 should be written here. 3 by 4 means 3 root 3 by 2 whole square. Root 3 by 2 whole square. Root 3 by 2 whole square. Now, let me write here. Now, <coughs> This means this is equal to 2 by 3 log p minus 1. You may write uh, here log of p minus 1 root to the power 2 by 3. You may write like this also into p square minus p square plus p plus 1 whole to the power 1 by 6. You may write like this. What is this? It is of the form 1 by x square plus x square. The integration is 1 by a tan inverse x by a. It minus half 1 by a 1 by 3 by 2. Tan inverse. Tan inverse. x by a p plus half divided by root 3 by 2 10 in mass you will get this one or you may write here log of p means you may write y by x p means y by x minus 1 whole to the power 2 by 3 y square by x square plus y by x plus 1 whole to the power 1 by 6 minus 1 by root 3 10 inverse twice v plus 1 divided by root 3 divided by root 3 now <coughs> this is equal to log of you may write y minus x whole to the power 2 by 3 divided by x to the power 2 by 3 into x to the power 2 by 6 y square plus xy plus x square whole to the power 1 by 6 minus 1 by root 3 10 inverse 2 times of y by x plus 1 divided by root 3 because v is equal to y by x put v is equal to y by x here x to the power 2 by x to the power 2 by 3 what is this x to the power 2 by 6 means x to the power 1 by 6 x to the power uh, <coughs> x to the power 2 by 3 into x to the power 1 by 3 means simply x this is equal to log of in the denominator you will get simply x Numerator you will get y minus x whole to the power 2 by 3 y square plus xy plus x square whole to the power 1 by 6 minus 1 by root 3 10 inverse twice y plus x divided by root 3 into x you will get this one therefore the integration of this is this we have expressed this integration in terms of x by y since y is equal to bx. Replace, we have replaced b by y by x, y and x. Now, therefore, two, from 2 we will get, from 2 we will get, therefore 2 implies, you may write 2 implies, log of 
you may write here y minus x whole to the power 2 by 3 y square plus xy plus x square whole to the power 1 by 6 divided by x minus 1 by root 3 10 inverse x plus twice y divided by root 3x divided by root 3x plus log x equal to log c plus log uh, plus log of x by c equal to 0 you may write plus log of x divided by c equal to 0 equal to x This means take the terms containing log in the Leibniz chain. Log of y minus x whole to the power 2 by 3. It, it is x square plus xy plus y square whole to the power 1 by 6 divided by x into x by c equal to. 1 by root 3 10 inverse x plus twice y divided by root 3x root 3x or you may write log of xx will be cancelled you may write c1 y minus x root to the power 2 by 3 x square plus xy plus y square root to the power 1 by 6 this is equal to 1 by root 3 10 bars x plus twice y divided by root 3x where 1 by c equal to c1 where c1 is equal to 1 by c c1 is equal to 1 by c here also uh, in the uh, right hand side of 2 there was log c for log c you may write minus log c then then the uh, result uh, would have come to the form log of c into this one now this is the record solution of the differential equation this is the record solution of the differential equation mm -hmm. dear students perhaps uh, you have enjoyed the class thanks for attending the class thank you for your class.